Well, right now, more than 1 million blooms are on display at Dollywood. The park's Flower and Food Festival is officially in full swing for spring. You have until June 11th to enjoy all the flower and food the festival has to offer. And hey, the new roller coaster will open sometime in May. Arcadia Inman is getting an up close look at how a new exhibit is all a buzz at the park. Hey, Katie, I'm waiting for more of those puns. <laughs> yeah, we are at count three for the puns so far, Brittany. Thank you. Dollywood just wrapped up the first full weekend of the Flower and Food Festival here. And just walking through the park, you'll see the umbrella sky. You'll smell the creative cuisine, and you'll also be in awe by all of the beautiful blooms. Also new this year is an exhibit, an ode to nature's noble pollinator, the honeybee, Alan Frankenberg. He is a local honey farmer, beekeeper, and you opened up up this brand new stand. Tell us a little bit about what this is. Yeah, so with Huggabee Honey, uh, we try to focus on mainly just really educating the uh, younger generation and some of the older uh, generation as well. We uh, we brought a bunch of bees. We have an observation hive that has about 30,000 bees in it, really just to teach and educate people, teaching them about the larva, how important it is to uh, really save these bees, you know, where our lives really depend on it. So uh, just excited really to be a part of uh, Dollywood and the uh, Flower and Food Festival. Did you catch he said be a part of it, y'all? <laughs> but why is something like this, this educational aspect, brand new this year for this festival, why is it important to have? Yeah, I mean, really, like I said, educating people. Uh, you know, a lot of people use pesticides and a variety of other uh, things for flowers, fruits, and vegetables. You know, there are so many different alternatives uh, to be able to save these. So, you know, we're constantly in the battle. It's, you know, the bees are in a decline, as everybody knows. So doing what we can is our part. Uh, as a population to try to save, uh, you know, our lives. And in fact, just uh, they're really incredible as you get to know them and, you know, being able to come to Dollywood's Flower and Food Festival, uh, get an up close look at them, just see how magnificent and amazing these creatures are. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Alan. If you have a chance to stop by Dollywood, definitely come by the Huggabee Honey exhibit here. Maybe buy some honey for yourself as well. I'll go ahead and send things over to you, Brittany. Now, do you see why it's all a buzz? I do. You explained it very well. I appreciate that. All right. Thanks so much, Katie.